Hello YouTube and hello Long Riders. First thing I want to start is apologize for not making a video for a while. And I'm going to tell you why well, I haven't made a video in a while. At the end of May, when we got to go, when the fishing was really good, water was high all the time. It rained and rained and rained. Did this last year, it was very aggravating. So then when the rain stopped, I had got a new job and I was working 55 hours a week for a while. I make videos when I'm working Saturday and I had off with Sunday and I wanted to do nothing but relax. So then, it wasn't much long after that, I had to wear this bad puppy. You see it? Yep. Dropped a big piece of steel on my foot and had to limp around for a couple weeks. That wasn't fun. Painful. Um, still going to re uh, uh, the rehab for my foot thing. And uh, so that's why I haven't made a video in a while. And that's why you have the beginning of this video I said feeling blah. Um, it took a lot to get to making a video when I haven't been on the water in two months, three months maybe, no two months. So we're going to get back into making videos, but my exciting news is we're going to have a new channel. It's going to be called T&D Outdoors, and uh, we're going to start putting our fishing videos in there. Last year I got a uh, mount for my action cam for the top of my 30-06, it went right on top of the scope, that was really cool, didn't get much, but we just learned, we started putting our stands on new property that Tracy has, or our family owns, and there's some other property up in a cabin that our parents own, we need, slowly needed to buy tree stands to get in, you know, um, slowly buy stuff, we got two tree stands last year, and we seen a lot of deer, but it was not much shooting because it was mostly you see the deer before daylight so we got to figure out where we can put our tree stands so we could see them you know how that goes I mean, fishing people don't want to hear all about this but anyway so we want to kind of put our fishing videos over there so you'll be able to see uh and i want to keep the tying instruction videos on this channel where you'll um i want to get more instruction videos for you guys on like techniques casting techniques um you know double hauls I want to teach you all that on this and some time videos. So there's some time videos coming. The thing is, we're going to switch now because of the water temperature being too warm. Make sure you check out my old videos on checking water temperature so you're not fishing and hurting the fish. This time of year, water is too warm unless you're fishing spring creeks. And another thing is if you are the guy that asked me where that dancing bird video went to, it's over on T&D's Outdoors with a bear video. I'm going to put some other reviews. I'd like to take and shoot waterfalls and set to music. You'll be able to check out them. They're really cool videos. I'll put them over there. Um, and my fishing probably will be videos, actual fishing videos over there. Because I noticed a lot of people come to this channel to watch time videos and not so much the fishing videos. They don't get very many views. So if I can put them over there with the uh, you know, like just the other outdoor activities, like there's a lot of really cool sceneries and parks around there. There's eagle outlooks and stuff. I like to get shots of eagles and tell you about the eagles and all the other stuff. So when you do come to PA, they fish that green drake. You'll know where else to go and have a good time too while you're here. Case, because lately, the water's been high. If you came all the way from another state, you gotta go check something else out. Why don't you go check out the eagles, stuff like that. You'll be able to check it out over there. We got a lot of cool stuff around here. We got some elk that were we brought back into PA. Um, stories about that. I got a friend, really, really, really good friend, that'll tell you about edible plants, some medicinal mushrooms, and stuff like that. If I can get him to do them, which I think I can, talk him right into that. I'll tell you about stuff like that. Um, all kinds of stuff that we're going to bring to that channel. So. But we're going to be back. You'll be seeing the time video this week sometime. I'll probably be shooting it tomorrow morning and then posting it.
tomorrow, maybe afternoon. Or today, actually. Because I just probably won't get out till tomorrow. And, uh, so that's my exciting news, is go check that other channel out. Maybe go and subscribe. Cause we're going to be posting a lot of cool stuff on there. That you're going to want to check out. And we're about to go bass fishing. We're going to bring you the exciting world of topwater bass fishing with a fly rod. I got a weight 8 given to me a long time ago. It was actually willed to me. The guy wanted to take me out in his boat. And he had passed before I got a chance to fish with him, which is a real bummer. Really nice bass boat. I, mean, I always wanted to do that with the fly rod. Never got out. So if you're in the area, man, hook, you know, drop a line. You got a nice bass boat. I wanted to go out and fly fish off a bass boat forever. And we could do that, you know. Put you on the video. So get a hold of me. Drop me a line down below. But I never got that weight eight out. So I'm going to get a reel for it and uh, put some weight nine, overload it so I can throw some big old bugs. I wouldn't mind hooking into some muskies. Stuff like that. There's just a lot of cool fish out here in this river that are monsters that you can hook into with the fly rod that we've been trying. There's a lot of carp fishing in our area. That's something I never did. I wouldn't mind doing some of the big carp around here. It would be a fight. Unbelievable fight with a fly rod. Even a weight eight. So, um, all y'all, stay tuned. Watch for the time videos coming for you guys like them. Watch for the instructional bass videos coming. Watch some, we're going to do some pond fishing, some river fishing. Um, I got a friend that's going to give me, a, let me borrow kayak, two-man kayaks. We're going to do some kayak fishing. Can't wait. So stay tuned. They're coming, people. Thanks for your patience for not going anywhere and staying subscribed. Trust me, you're going to love to watch these new videos. We're going to cover more than just trout fishing. Trout fishing, we've been running this channel on just basically trout fishing. We want to do some more, man. We want to do some cool other fly fishing. Because the fly fishing world doesn't end when the trout, trout, you can't fish for trout no more. Plus, all you all that said, well, why don't you do some cooking recipes? We're going to do that on the outdoor channel. And there's some streams around here that, in, in my opinion, I mean, in my everybody's opinion, the stock puts rainbows in these natural brook trout streams, and they shouldn't be there. Um... They eat the little brookies, they'll munch on the little wild brookies that are only two inches, three inches long, and that's terrible. So, a lot of times we go over it late in the year, and we'll catch these rainbows out of there. And if you do hook into a brookie, the water temperatures in these spring runs, like that spruce run, rapid run, all these spring creek fed creeks, never gets over 65. I mean, it, it might, but I don't know. I've never seen it over 65. So you can always fish it, and you won't hurt the other ones if you hook into them by accident. But these rainbows, there's just tons of them. Because the state puts them in, and then people don't fish these little creatures very long. It takes a lot of patience. Um, if you ever, uh, maybe I can do some reflection of some people, famous fly fishermen I know that used to fish these small creeks. And uh, we'll do some instructions on how to fish small creeks. So look through all that. It's coming. Stay tuned thinking about going tomorrow morning or I went this morning depends on when this video gets posted so I'm looking forward to it make sure you check out my other channel and we have a being screwed over by uh, Rickman's comp I got some bills built up so I got a link down below if you want to hear about that story and want to help in any way um, we might get back into Patreon later. Um, when I first had Patreon, we had a lot of difficulties with that. So I wouldn't mind doing a Patreon on both sites so you can do behind the scenes, maybe some more instruction videos, you know, uh, little roller videos, which is just us out, you know, not edited, you know. Um, but anyway, look forward to all of that, man. We're coming back in a big way. So stay tuned for some more exciting new fishing videos. Maybe I've been dying to do some bow hunting off of airboats with a bow. Can't put that on everything fly fishing. So check out the other channel too. Keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish a sore lip.